So thanks to this guy, there are now many people misinformed to believe that one in 35 people who have gotten the COVID vaccine have myocarditis. Is he right? No. This one's easy. I don't even need my afro for it. Let's just read the paper that he is referencing. In the paper he's referencing, they measure troponin with a very sensitive test. What is troponin? Well, troponin is a protein complex found in your heart muscle cells. When those muscle cells get damaged, troponin can leak into the blood system. However, troponin can be found in the blood in slightly increased levels after activities like running, lifting weights, or walking for a while. So in this paper where they classified myocarditis as slight increases in troponin, with no changes in things like ECG or other clinical signs of heart damage, they are not actually diagnosing myocarditis. So if you think that this paper shows that 1 in 35 people get myocarditis after a COVID vaccine, you also believe that most people who go on brisk walks also have myocarditis. Sorry, but John Campbell has misinformed you again. Hopefully that helps. All the links to all this information and much more are in the description below.